Welcome to the UNDP eTendering System Video Guide for Bidders. In this video, we will show you how to find tenders and view solicitation documents, submit a bid, manage a submitted bid to view, edit or cancel it. All UNDP public tenders are announced in the UNDP website in this link. For tenders managed via the e-tendering system, you will need to search and download tender documents directly from the system. To start, go to the e-tendering page following this URL and log in with your username and password. If you are not registered yet, you can still view tender documents by logging in with the guest account event.guest but cannot submit bids. To learn how to register, read the user guide or watch the video on how to register. If you are registered but do not remember your password, click on the forgotten password link to create a new password. Follow the instructions in the user guide or the video on registration. Once you have logged in, either with your account or with the guest account, you can start searching for tenders by clicking on Manage Events and Place Bids. And then view events and place bids. You can search for tenders using different filter criteria. For example, you can search for tenders issued by a specific UNDP country office by clicking on the loop button and selecting a country from the list. Or you can search by the event ID, which is usually provided in the tender notice. You can also search by event name. Once you have selected your filters, Click on Search to show search results at the bottom of the screen. Once you have found the tender you are interested in, click on the Event ID hyperlink to open it. Pay attention to the tender deadline in the system. It is based on the New York time zone. You can also conduct advanced searches. For example, one advanced search feature allows you to search for tenders by specific items, such as computers, the system will show all tenders related to computers. Once you have found the tender and opened it, you can view and download tender documents by clicking on the View Bidding Documents link. You will see all tender documents related to this tender, including files generated by the system in PDF and XML. To view and download the documents, click on the Loop button. Make sure your browser does not have a pop-up blocker activated. Once you have reviewed the tender documents and are interested to participate, you can click on Accept Invitation to subscribe to this tender and in order to receive automatic updates and notifications from the system. Note that you must be signed in with your account to be able to do this. When you are ready to submit your bid, click on Bid on Event to start creating and posting your bid response. Please make sure that you do not leave this for the last moment before the deadline. Please note that the Upload XML Bid Response link is not to be used for uploading supporting documents. This is a different feature to create bid response offline, which is explained in detail in the main user guide document. How to upload supporting documents is explained further in this video. The bid response comprises of three main parts answers to the system bid, factors or questions, unit prices to the line items, and uploading supporting documents. The tender might have a number of questions called bid factors, which the bidder has to respond to. They might be yes or no answers, free text, numeric, or selecting from a list of available choices. Questions marked with a star must be answered. Additionally, when a question is marked by a folder and a red star, it means that a response is mandatory and you must answer the question with an ideal response. Enter the unit price for each of the required items. Follow the instructions in the tender documents. For example, for request for proposals, you must enter the prices in the system as one and upload the financial proposal as a password protected document. Upload the required supporting documents by clicking on View, Add General Comments and Attachments. Before uploading files on e-tendering, note that 1. File names cannot exceed 60 characters. 
2. File names and the description of files cannot have special characters. Only letters from the English alphabet are accepted. Click on Upload to start the upload process. Browse through the files and click on Upload once you have selected the file you want to upload. Click on Add New Attachment to upload a new file. Always check instructions in the tender document before uploading attachments. There are usually restrictions on what type of files you will be allowed to upload. For example, to simplify the evaluation process for reviewers, most tenders request that documents are submitted in PDF format and that individual files are consolidated into zip folders. You must read and carefully follow the instructions in the tender documents. You can always save your bid response in the system. It is advised that you start creating your bid response and save a draft in advance so as to not have to upload all supporting documents in the last moment. Be aware that saving for later does not submit your bid. You are simply saving a draft. You can always come back to complete your bid response by opening the event and clicking on the View, Edit or Copy from Saved Bids link and click on Edit Bid Response. To submit a bid, you must click on Submit Bid. Once you have submitted your bid, you should normally receive a bid receipt confirmation email from the system that will look like this. It contains a PDF file attachment with a summary of your bid response. It is important that you check this PDF file to ensure that the response you have entered in the system is what you intended to submit. In particular, check the list of files uploading as part of your bid in the Bid Attachments part of the PDF bid file. This shows a list of all the files uploaded with your bid. Check and make sure you have successfully uploaded all supporting documents as intended. You can always check the status of your bid directly from the system. Go to the My Bid Activity link from your main menu and click on the Event ID hyperlink. Then click on the View, Edit, Copy from Saved Bids. In the next screen, click on the View link, which will open your posted bid in view mode. Pay attention to the status of your bid. To have a bid successfully submitted, the status of your bid must show as posted. Other statuses, like saved or cancelled, indicate that your bid is not submitted. To edit a bid response, go to the Event Details page and click on the View, Edit or Copy from Saved Bids hyperlink. If editing of the bid response is allowed, the Edit Bid Response link will be active. Click on it to withdraw your submitted bid and start editing it. Once you have made the necessary changes, you must click on the Submit Bid button again in order to repost your bid. If you click on Save for Later, you have not posted your bid and your originally posted bid is also withdrawn and therefore you will not have a bid submitted in the system. Always click on Submit Bid after you have edited it. If editing of the bid response is not allowed, the Edit Bid Response link will not be active. To amend your bid, first you must withdraw the original posted bid by cancelling it in the system. Navigate from View, Edit or Copy from Saved Bids and click on Cancel. After you have cancelled your bid, the system allows you to create a new bid response. You can use the copy function to copy the bid response you cancelled and then make the necessary amendments. Once you have made the necessary changes, you must click on the Submit Bid button again in order to repost your bid. If you click on Save for Later, you have not posted your bid and your originally posted bid is also withdrawn and therefore you will not have a bid submitted in the system. Always click on Submit Bid after you have edited it. If you want to withdraw your bid, you can do so directly in the system. Navigate from View, Edit or Copy from Saved Bids and click on Cancel. Then click Yes to confirm your bid withdrawal. There may be several amendments made to the event during the solicitation period. These amendments might be related to changes in deadline, uploading clarifications or amendments to tender documents and so forth. If a bid is amended, a new event version will be created in the system. 
In most cases, bids posted to the older version will remain in posted status. But it is important that the bidder checks that their bid response corresponds with the requirements of the newest event version. When significant changes are made to the event, such as edits to mandatory bid factors or line items, the status of a previously posted bid will be changed to cancelled and you will have to submit a new bid response. In this case, the system will send a bid cancellation notification to the email associated with your bidder account. To create a new bid response, you have to log into the system, go to the event and click on Bid on Event. This video has provided a brief overview of the main steps for submitting a bid on e-tendering. For more detailed instructions, please refer to the e-tendering user guide manual for bidders. Go to the UNDP Procurement Notice page, procurement-notices.undp.org and click on More Information for Bidders on the bottom left-hand side of the page.